All right, before you do your reading in this lesson, I just wanted to introduce you to what you're going to encounter, which are Kirchhoff's laws of radiation. Those laws basically say there's three types of spectrum that you can see in the, in the sky when we're looking at um, spectrum different sources. The three different types of spectrum, if you look up here in the spectrometer uh, window, they, they look like this. One is a continuous rainbow. The other is what we call emission lines. Okay, these like bright lines of very specific colors. And the other is what we call an absorption line spectrum, which is sort of like a combination of the two. And what Kepler's laws of radiation uh, explain is how these three different types of spectrum are created. So the first type we've actually spent quite a bit of time on because that's black body radiation that can be created by anything that produces black body radiation and it forms this continuous spectrum. The second type of radiation though, this emission line um, in this animation, this weird ball here is supposed to represent gas. Okay, so there's lots of gas in outer space um, that can be like big dust clouds. It can be big hydrogen clouds, all, all different kinds of things. On Earth, it may be uh, the closest in things we have that would fit this would be like a neon sign. That's like a glass tube with gas inside. Or even um, related would be like a fluorescent tube um, or a compact fluorescent light bulb. That's a tube with just hot gas inside. Um, so we see that a lot in outer space, but uh, on Earth, we don't quite see it quite as much, but it produces a spectrum like this. And in this lesson, we're gonna really try to understand why the spectrum looks like this, very specific lines as opposed to a complete rainbow. And then the third type of spectrum is actually when you look through a gas at a black body radiation source. So you might be like, well, that's very specific. And it is, except that happens a lot in in um, space. In fact, every star is essentially a black body source surrounded by a bunch of gas. And so stars actually have this type of spectrum. In fact, galaxies, because they're made up of stars, have this kind of spectrum. So almost everything in outer space has a spectrum that looks kind of like this, um, uh, we call it an absorption spectrum. And you'll see it is that rainbow of light that we got from the black body, but it has now, instead of bright emission lines, it has dark lines. And again, in this lesson, we're gonna see what causes that. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of context that we're exploring these three different types of spectra.